Today's video is on the subject of hell. Why is it that we talk so much about heaven but we never mention much about hell? Well, some people don't believe there's a hell, but the Bible says very clearly in many places that there is a hell. So today we're going to go through biblical scriptures that say about hell. And also, in the Bible, Jesus spoke more about hell than he did about heaven. He warned more about hell than he spoke about heaven. So that's how um, uh, serious hell is. Um, and we need to learn about hell from the Bible and also how we can avoid going to hell and why we go to people go to hell. Originally, many people know that God created hell for the fallen angels and the devil. But then after man sinned, um, sadly... Um, there was um, hell was then for man as well because we were less than perfect we'd, we'd fallen short of the mark and we were all became sinners through Adam and Eve and for our own deliberate sins we have all sinned and and so um, I think going through the Bible and in the Bible we have a scripture in Psalms 139 verse 8 if I ascend into heaven, thou art there. If I make my bed in hell, behold, thou art there. So God talks, uh, the Bible talks about hell in Psalms already. Okay, and then if we go to the book of Proverbs, chapter 22, verse 14. Thou shalt beat him with the rod and shalt deliver his soul from hell. This isn't talking about, this is talking about um, how to bring up your child discipline your child so that they don't end up going to hell it's um correction and discipline uh, from god is is um is the best thing because it leads us away from hell it leads us away from danger god disciplines us because he loves us as a part father disciplines his son because he loves him so therefore um in the bible where it says about um if you correct a son it will keep him out of hell it's because you actually lead them in the way of life um and keeping them away from sin which causes leads to death the bible says the wage of sin is death but the free gift of god is eternal life through jesus christ our lord and so in the book of uh, matthew we go to um chapter 5 verse 22 but i say unto you that whosoever is angry with his brother without a cause shall be in danger of the judgment and whoever says shall say to his brother Raka shall be in danger of the council but whoever shall say thou fool shall be in danger of hell fire I'm not 100% sure what that scripture in means but it's talking about hell fire again so there's another quote to hell in the bible also the book of Matthew um, chapter um, uh, chapter 10 verse 28 and fear not them which can kill the body but are not able to kill the soul but rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell anyway. and that's talking about god of course um that man can kill your body but god can say where well, you finally end up that's in his hands so that's important um then also in the book of mark it says in chapter 9 and it and if thy foot offend thee cut it off it is better for thee to enter thou into life than having two feet to be cast into hell into the hell fire into the fe, into the fire that never shall be quenched where the worm dieth not and the fire is not quenched so there's another scripture referring to hell because in the end book of the bible um sin and death will be thrown into the lake of fire with the devil and his angels and those who were never repented of their sins so um, that's another scripture and then in revelation oh sorry luke book of luke chapter 12 verse 2 for there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed neither hidden that shall not be known okay that's a, that's the wrong scripture it's actually further down but i will forewarn you whom you shall fear fear him which after he hath killed hath after he hath killed hath power to cast into hell yea i say unto you fear him so that's talking about god again fear god that he can kill your body and your soul um if he chooses but you 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 choose if you want to go to heaven or hell but he he can take your life or or spare it but you choose where you end up if you repent or don't repent that's your choice it's a free will choice that we all have okay there's another there's a few more scriptures in revelation 
I'm just trying to find one now. There was Revelation 1 verse 8, uh, verse 18. So that's important. Chapter 1 verse 18. Okay. And that one says, uh, I am he that liveth and liveth and was dead, says Jesus. And behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen. And have the keys of hell and of death. Write the things which thou hast seen and the things which are and the things which shall be hereafter. So there's talking about in the Bible where Jesus has the keys to, to hell and death. And one day it will all be thrown to the lake of fire. And uh, yeah, that will be the end of all that. And then those who are believing in Jesus will go on to live with him and reign with him in heaven. Um, and uh, yes, that's that's the gospel. So anyone who doubts hell, there's so much um, proof that there is a hell. Uh, there's more than that. There's many other scriptures in there um, about hell, the lake of fire. Uh, the end of Revelation talks about who will be in the lake of fire, who will be thrown in the lake of fire. Sorcerers, adulterers, uh, fornicators, uh, those who practice sorcery. There's many, 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 many people who will be thrown into the lake of fire fire if they do not repent for all sin is uh, unacceptable to god any sin that's why we all need jesus christ i hope this has been helpful um i challenge you to get the bible op open read the back of it and see all the different scriptures that mention hell fire and hell and just see what god and jesus say about it um in there see what um and jesus writing is in red when he's speaking he speaks a lot on hell so check out all the things that jesus says about hell and then check out all the ways in which you can escape how all the scriptures that say, whosoever believes the Lord Jesus Christ shall be saved. And um, hopefully then that will help you to understand another reason why we need Jesus so much. Okay, over and out.